What is up guys, Blue Morse here bringing us a brand new vlog and today we are at Hallis Scream at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. But this is not a full on Hallis Scream vlog so I just want to set the expectation going into this. This is for the event for the Passport to Summer. Uh, the full on Hallis Scream vlog will come later, either later this month or in October. I don't know exactly yet. So we're here, let's get it, let's go. Excited for the haunted houses to meet a bunch of fellow members. We're gonna have a great day. Let's get it, let's go. Number one thing I wanted when they said they're bringing back stuff was the flowers with the eyes in it. We're off to a good start today. They brought the signs back, but we still don't have limbs. We got rats, but we don't have arms or legs or feet. Is it too is it is it too much to think that maybe we might get one in the future? One thing I always tell people, if you're coming for the full-on Hallow Scream experience, you probably don't want to come the first weekend. Like, if you want to come for the first weekend for the novelty of, like, we're here opening weekend or opening night. Like, I get that. I, I do. Um, I like to come later, like, once it's been in a few weekends. Because sometimes there's some decorations. There's a lot of decorations that get up in a very short amount of time. So, sometimes there's a few more that get added on after Hallow Scream starts. So I always say, if you want the full on house game experience, mid to late September, and then onward after that is your best time to come. Still a great time. Like I said, we're here for a special event. It's gonna be really fun. Let's get it, let's go. You already know how we started today. You already know how we started today. You gotta come to Nessie. Up an interesting ride on Loch Ness Monster on the second lift hill outside of the cave. The ride felt a little bumpy coming out of it, a little more than usual, and then it got stuck. Well, we got stuck on the uh, second lift. Never gotten stuck on a roller coaster before. This was a first. Um, I've gotten stuck on Escape from Pompeii before, but not never on a roller coaster. It was a fun first experience. Um, the maintenance crew was really good. It got us off like within five minutes. And so, you know, credit to them for working really hard and diligently to get us off real quick. But I was like, dang it, I really wish I had my camera so I could vlog. So there's actually something pretty weird today that I want to let you guys know about. Something to know about me is I don't typically wear black shirts. And you're probably wondering why. Why is that like a weird thing? You know, guys, know I haven't always been in the shape I'm in now. When I was overweight, I would wear black shirts all the time to thinking that they would disguise my weight. They didn't, but I believe that they did. So for years, I primarily wore black shirts or dark colored shirts just to kind of mentally think i'm disguising it now i focus on wearing bright colored shirts and stuff all the time just to kind of show that i'm excited to show everything i work for you know it's really weird to wear a black shirt but for how scream you got to so that's what we're doing Fun fact guys, yesterday I just heard a song called Skeleton. When will it come out? When will you guys hear it? If will you guys hear it? I don't know. The Demon DJ is back. It's back. Kinda missed it. It was a really good centerpiece. But also one more note on uh, the song Skeleton. It rocks. You know why it rocks? It's a rock song. I'm hyped for you guys to hear it at some point. So you guys are probably wondering why I chose to do a clip that focused on the code of conduct sign. And guys, I didn't think I would need to feel, well, I didn't think I would feel obliged to make this point twice in the same year. If you're watching this, I don't know, I doubt any of you watching this would be involved. We gotta keep our composure at the parks, guys. Be responsible. You know, yes, there's alcohol and all that, but you know, be responsible, drink responsibly. There are always families around, kids around. We try to be a good example for everyone. Don't be stupid, don't be reckless. I'm not gonna go into details because I don't know all the details about what went down, but let's just be smart. Act as adults. It, it's a shame to see some of the things that 
go down, especially opening weekend here at Hollow Screams. And if you're watching this and you love the park much, I do just let's be good ambassadors as much as we can. While we wait for time to go to the VIP event, we'll take a little round on a train. You know one thing, guys, that I thought that would have been really cool to bring back, especially because of the Christmas Town Express, the haunted train. I remember riding the haunted train as a kid. I, I know they've spoken about it at Member Town Hall last year. So I know it's definitely at least on the table somewhere. So I was hoping maybe it'd be back here for the anniversary, but uh, it's not, it is what it is, but we're gonna take a nice train ride around the park, maybe next year, or maybe for the 30th. And a severely underrated return for this year's Halle Scream is the spider web bridge from Germany to New France. And after the train ride, we still got about 30 minutes to kill. Why not hop on my favorite coaster in the park, Alpengeist? No line, perfect time. You get through the day, and before you know it, it's been a couple years. Oh, look at Ooh. 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 A fantastic ride on Alpengeist. Now, you know, we're getting close to the time for the event. So I think we're just gonna kind of hang out in the fest house area and wait for time to go down and. Here we go. Getting into the event. Let's get it. Let's go. They know the way to my heart. Spaghetti. Pretty solid spread. For the, for the VIP event, and I'm ready to dive in. And there's the presentation after this, and we get a preview of Monster Manor with the lights on. So I'm super excited about that. Let's get it. What we are going to do is have you use your voices in a couple different ways, have you use your body in a couple different ways, so we can see and understand what kind of energy dynamics you're bringing, and how we may be able to then cast you into one of the roles that we have with the scare season this year. There is no right or wrong answer to any of these activities. What you think is probably the right answer is invariably going to be the right answer for you. So first up, we'll start down here. Could we please hear a shriek or a scream? <coughs> Excellent, great. <coughs> great. <coughs> Perfect, fantastic. <coughs> nice. <coughs> Excellent. <coughs> All right, we're off to a great start. A wolf howling at the moon. Here's a 
time. There's the goo. Perfect. All right. We would like to hear what would it sound like if you were suddenly falling off a cliff. Go. Ah! So we're going to do one more activity just to help us see how do you do with what we call the drop door scare. The drop door, you've probably seen in haunted houses. It's literally like it sounds like. It is a panel on a door or a wall that drops. And whenever it drops, the scare actor presents a vocalization to startle the people walking by in front. Drop door. Hey, how you doing? first half of the presentation was a mock audition, which was actually really cool for scare actors. Might be helpful for use for future information. <laughs> but now we're going to do a preview of Monster Manor for the first time. Let's get it. That was a preview of Monster Manor with the lights on. Gotta say, my favorite prop was definitely the Battle for Iron headset on the desk. That, that, that was awesome. But the event was really cool. The food was fantastic. Some chicken alfredo, spaghetti, salad, and the uh, scare, like I said, the scare actor audition was really cool. You get to get some insider looks into how that would go if someone were to want to go into being a scare actor. So, if yeah, that's what you want to do, make sure and check out the Patreon where I have the entire thing uncut. Except for where I stopped recording in between bits, but you still have all of the stuff there. So yeah, that was absolutely awesome. And uh, we're not going to stay here too long. Like I said, this is not going to be a full-on How It Screams vlog. We are going to stick around for Jack's witching. You got to sing here by the bell again, just like in the last vlog. But now we know what the bell is actually for. Do we know what it's actually for? 
I have an idea what it's actually for. It seems that the park has put out these little teasers recently about a village that used to be terrorized by a wolf. They cast the wolf away, but the wolf was that body was never found. They moved to a new village. Bush Gardens, Hollow Screen begins in 30 minutes. Please be aware that if you are still in the park, you will be scared. Maybe. We hope you are enjoying your day. And remember, yeah, you put it in the bag. In 30 minutes. Okay, so the scare is everywhere. Heard that. Anyway, so the village moved to a new village, but there seems to maybe have been, but the bell that was meant to be rung if the wolf was ever to return, seems to have rung. But the next part is celebration, and we are waiting to see what is the next chapter in this whole saga. What could it be? Who knows, really? I have no clue. Where is that switch for me music? I saw it years ago. Ah, there it is. People of Bush Gardens, you better beware. Jack is back. <laughs> guys the hello scream season is officially rung in for bush gardens and for the channel and uh we're, we're not gonna stay here for all the rest of today because of three reasons uh one it doesn't get dark till late so it kind of defeats a lot of it, the purpose uh it is a sunday gotta get up tomorrow morning for the gym uh football is on so and my phone battery's up so because of all that we're just gonna walk around the park and uh see what there is and uh, yeah, decided to get House Cream going. And like I said, there will be another vlog coming soon, which will be the full House Cream vlog for the channel. But for now, it's a little preview of what's to come.
Permission to record me? Are you yeah. crazy? Stop no, me. I'm just joking. You can record me all you want. You see how it's still light outside? See, that's why I'm like, this is not gonna be the house screen vlog. Cause we're gonna do it later when it's like dark at like five. Like, like right now, it'll be darkness. So the scare actors really get time to shine, but it does give it time to really be able to see the scare actors make up in a uh, person and let them kind of have some fun. And that was really cool. And I'll uh, just go and film and that's really cool. Guys, taking a vlog stop right here. I want to shout out Tiger T, fellow YouTuber. So go check out his channel at The Real Tiger T. I'll link it in the description down below. So go check him out and go subscribe. Don't say it again. What are you looking at? Get it somewhere. <laughs> what are you looking at? You got some problem or something? Oh, right, right. Come on, square one, square one. <laughs> So guys, we are wrapping up today here at Bush Gardens. We'd love to show you a little bit more of the scaring actors, but you know, the game is getting down for the commanders. And also my phone battery is slow because I've been using it all day ever since I started my Sunday morning run and watching football while at the park. So phone battery's going down. So we're calling it early so we can get home. Maybe in time for the prime time game. So yeah, but had a great first experience here of Hollow Scream. Can't wait to be back in just a few weeks for the Fiends Frenzy 5K. Been training for that, so that's gonna be really fun. Hope to see some of you all there. And uh, yeah, really awesome. Just uh, it's a good event. Learned a lot in that event. Really cool to see uh, Haunted House with the lights on. It feels like my theater days being backstage with all the lights on and all the sets. So it's really cool. Hope, can't wait to be back. Thank you all for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and make sure to like if you enjoy. Make sure that bell button down below is so notified every single time I put a brand new video to the channel. Make sure to go stream my new song, I Don't Like My Mind, wherever you listen to your music. Go check out the Patreon where there's an extended cut of this vlog. And uh, thank you all. My name is Will Morrison. I'm out. Peace. Also, I'm not going to lie. It scared, the, it scared the absolute piss out of me when they were, when the scratch was like, did I give you permission to record with a shot? It was like, in the parks, you always have permission. But when someone says that, like, you always want to be respectful. So you want to be like, oh, no, I'm putting down the phone. Like, I'm stopped. And then they're like, oh no, I'm just joking. I'm like, why? That actually scared me right there. That actually scared me. Usually I don't get scared of house cream. That scared me. Anyway, I'm out. Peace. I don't like my mind. It gets me in trouble sometimes. It doesn't know when it's crossed a line. Can't tell what's up to mine. I don't like my mind.